Hello, YouTubers, Minecrafters, and peoples of the Intertubes. And welcome back to my vanilla Minecraft survival series. My name is Tobert, and I'm your host, and thanks for coming along. We're glad to have you with us. Well, last we left off in the last episode, we finished decorating the inside of all of our little apartment complexes here and we even put this little canopy over the garden area each little housing has a bed and then maybe a music box maybe a bookshelf or something and maybe instead of a table it's got a sofa or something around those lines and you can see that our village is thriving here we got somewhere around eight or nine villagers and it looks like he's getting ready to make a move on a new one so you go get it, man. Well, now that we've got the village made and it's thriving, we need to get a protector in here. Something to watch over the villagers and make sure they're safe. I had to replace that with an iron door instead of the wooden one as villagers kept on trying to come into my house and sleep. And no, no, that's not allowed. So we need to make something to protect the villagers. Well, we need four blocks of iron then. So a block of iron is iron ingot in each one. We only need four. And then we're also going to need ourselves a pumpkin. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to make ourselves an iron golem out here just to watch over the villagers. Actually, I think we'll turn around. I think we'll make two. Just in case. So we need another four blocks of iron. Let's we'll go ahead and grab that. There we go. And we'll need another pumpkin. All right. Let's go ahead and throw these two iron golems together real quick. Pretty simple. Actually, very simple. We're just going to go one, two, three, and four. And then the pumpkin on top for the head. And why didn't that work? I don't understand why that didn't work. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I think it's got to be jack-o'-lanterns for the head, not just pumpkins. Let's make ourselves a couple jack-o'-lanterns real quick, then. We'll just come up here. We'll grab a couple of torches. Oh, we already got them in our inventory. Well, let's make those into jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, so let's try this one more time. We'll just run on down here. And we'll say one, two, three, and four. And then there he is. There's Iron Gollum. Don't be trashing the crops, man. The nice thing is we got ourselves an achievement for doing that as well. Let's go ahead and make our second one. We can get it. There we go. There's Gollum number two. Oh, they both look the same. There's another texture that Chroma Hills comes with here that makes them look a little bit different. And that does remind me. I have to say once again, this is vanilla Minecraft in gameplay, not vanilla Minecraft in graphics. We're running the Optifine enhanced graphics. The SEUS Renewed Version 1 Shaders and the Chroma Hills Texture Pack. Chroma Hills changing everything from, I believe, 64 bit to 128 bit, I believe. It might be 32 to 128. I don't quite remember, but what do we have here? We got ourselves a weaponsmith. We got a couple of priests now. We have a fisherman, shepherd, 
There's a baby butcher running around here somewhere. Although he might be all grown up by now. Not completely sure, but we got the go golems to guard over them. So they're going to be safe. We're going to rush off and grab some snow real quick so we can show you one other thing that we can do. So I'm going to go grab some snow and we will be right back. So a quick note about gathering snow is that you got to find it on top of blocks here and you have to use a shovel to get it. If you don't use a shovel, you're not going to get the snow. Snowballs or whatnot. But that's what we're going for is snowballs and it takes four snowballs to make a snow block. We're going to gather up some more snow here and like I said, we'll be right back. All right, so a couple things that you can do with snow is that first of all, you get the snowballs and you can throw these like a little taunting thing, just a, something real quick, just to have fun with somebody. But what else you can do is you can make in a four in a two by two pattern, you can make snow blocks. And we want a couple of these actually, because we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna take these snow blocks. And what you can do with the snow blocks, you can put one on top of the other and top it off with a jack-o'-lantern and you get a little snow golem. And he's got no face. That's odd. Okay, the snow golem has no face. But what is fun is that wherever the snow golem uh, goes around, he'll leave these patches of snow on the ground. But unfortunately, him being down this way, if it ever uh, starts raining and he's not covered up, he's going to melt. And he'll go away. And now I can't hit him with a snowball. There we go. So that's just one little thing with the snow golems. You can make little snowmen and whatnot. All right, so now we're going to do ourselves a little favor. And we're going to make a little placard board on the side here. We want some logs, preferably oak, and we don't have any oak logs. We'll take that birch wood. Oh, we got spruce. That'll work. But unfortunately, I don't think 28 is going to be enough. We're going to need to get... No, 28 should be enough. So as soon as we get rid of this night time, we'll be right back. All right, so we can gather up a couple more spruce logs here for what we're going to do right now. We're going to make ourselves a little job board. One, two, three, four, five... And what that is, is that we're going to give ourselves some tasks to do over this uh, while we're do here playing. Give ourselves a couple tasks to do. We want to make this roughly, I think we want it too high in the middle here. Now we're going to go up one more just to get that started and then we got to knock that one out. That shouldn't be too difficult. Right there. So we're just going to make it look like it extends outward and whatnot. Just like so. A little bit of a large board, but that's okay. So we're going to have two sides to this. The first side here is going to be our season finale side, at which point we take on an ocean monument, which we've already done. Next, we're going to take on a woodland mansion. Which will be coming up pretty soon here, actually. Then we're going to take on a Wither boss. 
And then we're finally going to take on the Ender Dragon. That's just some of the things we're going to do throughout this series. So that's on that side. On this side, we're going to have some tasks that we need to take care of. The first one is going to be to create a storage system. And we're going to use the one that is commonly done by Tango Tech. We do like his storage system over a lot of the other ones that are out there. <clears throat> we're going to have uh, expanding the village. We want to go ahead and get more villager babies out there. And we want to get rid of other villagers that are not needed. Especially if we get any nitwits and whatnot. But we'll cover that later. And we're going to also want to do... I can't remember what it was I was just thinking about. Oh, yes. A wall around the town. So we're going to do a nice big wall going all the way around everything that we have here. And so that's just a couple of tasks that we're going to start with. If there's any tasks that you can think of, well, I'll be glad to have those down in the comments. Just leave a comment down there or something you'd like to see us do. We'll go ahead and take care of that. Or we'll try our best to. Oh, something else we got to do. We got to bring back some pigs. So get pigs. And so we're going to be doing achievements. If I can get my hands correct, there we go. So do some achievements. As far as achievements go, we've already completed quite a few of them, actually. We only have a couple more to go. A subspace bubble used the nether travel to use the nether to travel seven kilometers in the overworld. And ooh, that's quite a distance. Rescue a gas, get the uh or summon the wither boss, make a beacon, and every potion effect. That's gonna be rather difficult. Breed all the animals. There's ten animals total. Let's see here, we have chicken, pigs, cows, and sheep. Then we have rabbits, then we have horses. And that's really all the ones I can think about right now. I'm not sure what the other four are at the moment. Probably donkeys is going to be one of them. There's three more, but we'll go through all the achievements later. We got quite a few to do. Quite a few indeed yet. Ooh, discovering every biome. That's going to be an interesting one. That one's going to be held off until 1.13 gets released. But yeah, we have some achievements that need to be taken care of. Not too many yet, but still a couple there. And so we got to get the pigs back and whatnot and get everything done here. We did a little... A little more doors to the village here. We added the ones on the side here to give them another entrance here, like the ones on top. Give us the additional doors, and those doors we're using like screen doors to say, well, just a way for them to add some air into their apartment if they want. And Mr. Gollum, you're dancing. Uh, you know what? I'll join you. Oh, okay. Why well, once I joined him, he stopped. I guess I'm not liked very much. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed. We went and showed off how to make a golem, how to make a snow golem. It looks like this snow golem's disappeared. I don't see him anywhere. I still got all my armor on. Let's go ahead and take that off and empty our hands and say thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back shortly, coming up with a Kerpow Craft Kingdoms episode. And that reminds me of something I have to talk about. Is that we are going to be setting up a Patreon account. We're going to be setting up a Patreon server that is going to be called the Minecraft Community Project Server. And what we're going to do, we're going to open that up and say anybody that is a Tier 3 subscriber on Twitch or a Tier 3 
Patreon subscriber is going to get whitelisted on the server and it's going to be a complete community project everybody working together to make accomplishments and we're going to be doing a couple contests to give out year-long access to the server and whatnot oh maybe he didn't just die maybe he walked off somewhere let's follow the snow and see if we can't find him hey there he is what's up buddy so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna run a couple contests grant access to the server for a year we're gonna have the server open for tier three subscribers and supporters so that they can join in on the fun just gonna be in nice just to work with a whole bunch of people all at once so thanks once again thanks for coming along hope you enjoyed the episode would be uh follow us on twitter to get more updates when it comes to that community server that's not going to be released till 1.13 is released but once it is we are going to be happy to have a whole bunch of people come along so best way best place to follow that is going to be on twitter all right so we're going to say goodbye for now take care and we will see you shortly